Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. This is my last polyurethane video for a while. I'm gonna move on to other things. Now this idea I actually saw directly on the Instagram page of Let's Resin. This is the polyurethane resin that was sent to me by Let's Resin and I am an affiliate so all of the details will be in the description box below for your 10% off. Again, it's not yet available in the UK but others are available so I'm gonna link them as well down in the description box if you fancy getting your hands on this in the UK. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is something I saw on the Instagram page of Let's Resin. It was the cutest idea and I figured I really wanted to have a play and try to recreate it if I can. So absolutely all credit for what I create in today's video goes directly back to Let's Resin on their Instagram. Go check them out if you haven't already and you'll see what it was I was trying to recreate. Tell me whether I did an okay job. First things first, we're gonna mix up the polyurethane. Now, if you are new here, if this is the first video you are ever watching of mine, polyurethane resin cures, oh my gosh, super fast. You only have 30 seconds to stir component A and B together in a cup before pouring. Now. This is probably the most I've mixed in one cup. And the reason for that is that I knew I was just pouring it straight away into these coaster molds, which are also Let's Resin. One, two, or three drops of alcohol ink directly in, and we're gonna just swirl it around with a stick. Being as quickly as, being as quickly? <laughs> being as quick as we can, because this stuff cures super fast. This has a 10 minute demold, 10 minutes. On top of that, I wanted a little bit, not this much, a little bit of gold powder. I'm actually using the Floating Pigment Powder by Just For You Online. Purchased, not sponsored, not sent to me. I purchased it myself. I really wanted a lot less than this. You'll see, I didn't even take any out of the tub. I just tapped the tub and all of this was just kind of residue from around the lid area, so rookie mistake Ugh, but I'm swirling it around moving it around before I really don't have much time left and the rest of that polyurethane that you saw me mix up in the cup went into a second coaster now this time I'm going easy one single drop of let's resin alcohol ink into this mold is all I am doing because I feel like with my first attempt I just put a little bit too too much and one little tap the outside of the pot, enough. That is enough gold. I don't want any more than that. So I was a lot happier with my second attempt than I was with my first. That is it. Both of these are done. And then it's a case of sitting back, watching the magic happen and allowing them both to cure up. Now I have sped this up for you because again, this is a 10 minute demol time. What I did do with the pink one, which I really shouldn't have, I tried to create like a swirly pattern in the surface and I just, I just arrived too late. I, I was too late. So it was kind of sticky and I have disturbed the surface a bit, which is unfortunate, but you will see that when we demold. Now it's a 10 minute demold, like I said, but I am demolding after just six minutes. This is six minutes after pouring I am demolding to create some bowls. Cute little trinket dishes. This is the exact project I saw on their Instagram. And all I'm doing here is, well, as you can see, I'm wedging it down. I basically placed it in this very small plastic bowl and I've only got one of this size. So this is the only one that gets a proper mold. <laughs> With the other one, I'm actually gonna try and mold it into a bowl by hand. Easier said than done, guys. Because by the time I had played around with the blue bowl, I really shoved it down into that plastic bowl and I just made sure that it was really and truly down in there. By the time I got round to this one, it was late. It was, it was really, I was really pushing it. I was pushing the limits of this just being too hard to be able to mold but I didn't give up I just went around and around and around and around we go and I just carried on I carried on until I could not carry on anymore and my thumbs were hurting me at this point and I thought you know what 
I've done all I can to try and create something that looks a little bit like a bowl. It's almost like a a plole at this point, like a wannabe bowl. I never quite made it, I never quite got there, but I did what I could to bring those edges up. Now to get this one out of the bowl, this is about 10 minutes later, I allowed it to fully, fully solidify and ultimately fully cure. I just whacked the bottom of the bowl and it popped straight out. This is so pretty. I was so happy. I was starting to see images in the ink patterns. Like, does anyone else do that? Does anyone see images here? I can't even tell you. It's like a ghostly figure and then I see a horse and then I see like a little kind of bat with two ears and anyway, <laughs> anyway, before I go crazy, um, I'm using my gold deco color pen to just decorate the outside edge of this bowl. And I'm bringing the pen just up and in by about a millimeter just to give it that extra bit of yumminess, the shine. Guys, look at the shine. How pretty is this bowl? I love it. I absolutely love it. Using the gold pen was again something they did on the Instagram page. So I am literally copying what I saw directly from Let's Resin's Instagram page, word for word, bit by bit, because um, they used the gold pen too. And I just loved the way it looked. As for the plole, <laughs> wannabe bowl, it didn't quite materialize. It definitely didn't get as bowly as I wanted it to be. It definitely did not get as bowly as the blue. So I would fully recommend if you're gonna do this, look at that little artistic shot, <laughs> yay me. If you're gonna do this, definitely demold your polyurethane after six minutes and find something to wedge it down into so that it fully cures in that kind of dishy, bowly shape. Um, trying to do it by hand, Oh gosh, nightmare, absolute nightmare. You could use tape, you could use other forms to try and hold it in place, but I feel like I just left it a bit too late. So now we've got what looks like a trinket dish with a bit of a wobbly, not quite up, not quite down, doesn't quite know what it wants to be, bowl. And it's okay, it's still kind of pretty. I do love the gold and the pink, but you can see the surface there where I really just left it too late to try and manipulate those colors. And I ended up pulling some of that resin out because it was so sticky and gloopy at that point. So definitely work fast, act fast, do it all before it has any signs of curing. And you should be good, you should be good. I think the pink is still pretty in its own kind of way. It is definitely still a usable functional dish, but the blue sings to me. I can see a lion's face there. Can you see a lion's face? Okay, stop, stop, okay. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it has inspired you yet again to create something with your polyurethane. You could easily recreate this with epoxy resin. It would actually be easier with epoxy resin because you'd have more playtime, more work time. It would just take longer um, to create a bowl. I've done it before on my channel. So if you don't have the poly and you want to create a nice little trinket dish like this, go for it with your epoxy resin. Quite honestly, it would be the same. But yeah, I wonder what it would be like with white epoxy resin and alcohol ink on top. I wonder if that's something we should play with. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video where we are moving on to Father's Day inspired videos. I'll see you then. Bye. Dancing on the wire